Hey guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Beast! Peekaboo, I see you because I'm YouTube, I caught it, I caught it this time. I'm YouTube famous now. Available June 28th, 2024, the album, Dad, Shimmy Shimmy AF, on vacation. <clears throat> Trailer for sale or rent, ba bum ba bum Rooms to rent for 50 cents, ba bum ba bum Ain't got no cigarettes, ba bum ba bum But I got my ukulele, boost! How are you guys doing today? My mom used to sing that song to me as a kid, and I don't know why, but that song was going around my head today. And then I thought, I'm just gonna add the ukulele part because when in doubt, why not add a ukulele? I mean, if you're calling Ballinger and you want to address something serious, why not add a ukulele? So, how are you guys doing today? Yes, we're going to talk about uh, Colleen Ballinger's, uh, her, her, first of all, I have to get into hair and makeup. So, hair is basically putting on a hat, okay? I'm, I, I'm the actor of the world and I'm getting into hair and makeup right now. Here's my hair from, I just got up about a half an hour ago. Uh, hair and makeup is uh, putting on a hat. <laughs> putting on the Ritz, and then makeup is my lip gloss. <laughs> du jour. Okay. Now, see, I'm all ready for hair and makeup. Are you ready? Okay. So now we can do the uh, dramatic um, monologue audition of Colleen Ballinger in her latest video, which is titled something about 2023, reflecting on 2023. Well, um, I just want to be um, really grateful for all of the really horrific shit that happened to me in 2023. And I mean, you know, it was obviously the worst world, the worst life, the worst year of my entire world and my entire life. But the one really good thing that came out of it was that I found rocks. And you know, like rocks can like totally change the world. And I love rocks so much. And um, and I love rocks. And I and I love listening to Taylor Swift while I'm playing with my rocks. And by the way, to uh, fill up as much time on this video as possible, the last five minutes will be dedicated to me shining rocks with a flashlight. I, I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. Um, I'm kind of a I'm kind of a strange, weird aunt at a party that uh, talks inappropriately to all the kids and I just like to play with rocks. I, 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 is that normal? I don't know, but I like it so much, you know? So anyway, she says in her video that her therapist, her ther she has many, her therapists for a very long time have tried to get her to meditate, but she couldn't really do that until she found rocks, right? Is what she says. So what's interesting about that statement, okay? is that I feel like there's a lot of like innuendos in this video. Some of them I'm gonna get into and some of them I'm not. Some of them I'm gonna kind of save. Some of the things that she's wearing in this video, I feel like Colleen Ballinger, like, okay, I literally was just <laughs> on the, 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 the back patio getting ready to get my beach bag ready so I can go down to the beach and things like that with my husband. He's doing some work out in the patio, doing some work calls and things like that, you know? Um, and I was like, I uh, literally just like throwing a t-shirt. This is the t-shirt that I was like wearing when I was uh, listening to my audiobook last night and watching a couple episodes of Vanderpump Rules. So I just threw this on, you know? I think that everything that Colleen Ballinger does for a video and how she's sitting, how she looks at the camera with that deadpan and I, what she's wearing, everything around her. I think it is all very, very calculated. And it's kind of like, now I don't play video games, you know, but I did read that one book. What was that book called years ago? Now I can't remember it. It was great. They made it into a movie, but the book was much better. Some by Ernest Cline. Do you guys remember that book? And it was about the people that lived as like avatars or whatever. And then they like had like, they were, you know, it was, you know what I'm talking about? That was so good. I can't remember what that book. I know somebody already listed it in the comment section. Thank you so much. Bless your heart. But anyway, I love the book. The book was a hundred times better than the movie. The movie was good too. But anyway, they talk about Easter eggs, right? Oh, it was about this billionaire, and he had started this video game, this, like, Avatar world, and then they, like, hid these Easter eggs. I think she's very much like that, okay? Like, she hides these Easter eggs in her videos that you have to be, like, smart enough to look for them, but if you find them and you call them out, then all of the, the Colleen fandom says you're really reaching and you're crazy. But we're going to get into that in just a second because I have something I need to address with y'all first of all, okay? Now, I know that y'all like me getting right into my videos, but I do have something that is very, very serious. I just tweeted it out, okay? So I need to address this before I get into anything else. First of all, I just tweeted out, um, and this is very serious to me. I said, I am not happy. 
And I'm not. I'm not happy about this at all. Let me be crystal clear. We cannot stream the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City finale until we get back to the States. My Instagram and Twitter feeds are inundated with posts, memes, gifts, and opinions about the finale. Y'all know I can't watch it. You are evil. And then I add an LOL because you know that makes everything right. Oh, Chelsea, she put hope you're still having fun. Thank you so much, Chelsea. Don't be ruining it for me, Chelsea. I'm telling you right now. And then my friend, uh, Nikki, she texted me something about the Housewives. Um, she said, I'm about to put on Housewives FaceTime, you and Alex, and y'all can uh, watch it that way. Haha. Ha. I'm waiting patiently to talk to you about it. See, now that's a real friend right there, okay? That will literally FaceTime you and your husband so you can watch Real Housewives of Salt Lake City so you can be in on it with everybody else. That right there is a real good Judy for you, okay? I love my good Judy Tony Jean. She didn't even offer me that. She was hitting things at me, and when I said to her on the phone, Tony Jean, do not tell me this, she was laughing, okay? She thought it was real funny. Because, see, we try to spoil shows for each other without spoiling shows for each other. But anyway, so if y'all watched my last video that I made, which was my predictions video for 2024, in that video, um, the first thing I said was, first of all, that whenever I go on vacation, people, influencers always try to ruin my vacations, okay? Nah. I know that a lot of you out there that love these people think it's a reach, but no, true story, every time I go on vacation, something huge happens, okay? Um, or something that's newsworthy. I'm always kind of like, well, maybe I'll just, you know, take a couple days off and I won't film no videos and I'll just like relax by the beach and all this kind of stuff. No, y'all, y'all are trying to fucking ruin my vacation. I know what it's about, okay? And the reason why I said the album release will be July 28th of 2024 is because the last time that I was in Mexico, okay, was for my birthday. My birthday is June 29th, okay? I believe that Colleen Ballinger released, I could be wrong, but I believe that she released her video on the 28th or the 30th. It was around my birthday, but I believe it was the 28th. It was the day before my birthday. I was on the beach with my husband, laying out, having a perfectly wonderful day, okay? Probably listening to The Smiths or The Cure or Bob Dylan or Stevie Nicks or something like that, right? Just li living my best life out there in the sun, going to the ocean, things like that. And I was laying there. And, um, no, I just remembered what song I was singing. I was singing that song by Jason. I never can pronounce his name. Do you pronounce the M? Is it just Raz? Jason Raz? M Raz? Mraz? I don't know. But that song, and they had played it in, in the Miss America, and I knew all the dances. I, true story, y'all can go back and watch my videos from this time, because I just literally, I made up a new playlist while I've been down here, and the playlist is called Good Times. <laughs> here it is right here. Good Times, okay? Y'all want to know what the songs are on here? Uh, someone I used to know, The Mix, by the Zach Brown Band. Rain On Me, Purple Disco, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> here, oh, I can't play it, Pur <laughs> purple, purple Disco Machine. I Feel Like Dancing by Jason and Raz. More Purple Disco Machine play box. Body Funk by Purple Disco Machine. Spile, a Smile by AMR. We're adding to it as we go. Okay, but anyway, I was down here and I was showing my husband how they did the dance in the, the Miss, I think it was Miss Indiana America. They were showing the dance, okay, of how they did it to that song. It's like, I like to move something like this. And then it would stop and they'd say, hi, I'm Judy Smith. I'm your Miss Canoka County. And I am here to present to you that Canoka County is more than corn and cows. And then they would go back to the Jason Emerald song. And I was doing that on the beach, okay. I was the pageant queen you didn't know you needed that year on the beach, okay. <laughs> you can only imagine if you didn't watch my vlog from yesterday, I showed a whole video. Okay, oh, should we just show it over here real quick? I showed a whole video. I overcame one of my fears yesterday because you all know that my biggest fear of life is sharks. And I overcame my fear yesterday of, hold on, here it is. Oh, no, I can't play. Wait. I overcame my fear yesterday and jumped off this boat into the ocean. Woo! Look at that. Didn't get eaten alive or anything. Oh my God, I was so proud of myself. And then I ended it with putting my foot up in the air like a synchronized swimmer and all that kind of stuff. Does that mean something? I was just showing my leg in the air. I didn't, if that means something, I didn't, I, I didn't mean it to mean nothing. You can't do nothing anymore. You can't throw up a peace sign or just wave to people. Everything means something anymore. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, so everybody always is trying to, Jacqueline Hill, she's already trying to ruin my vacation. You know, fuck you, Jacqueline Hill. Okay, she's trying to ruin my vacation by closing her business down. I already knew that was going to happen. I was ready for that, right? So I did this predictions video the other day, and I said in the predictions video, that I felt that Colleen Ballinger was going to come out with some kind of thing. People were asking me what I thought was going to be like the big apology video or whatever. And I said I thought it was going to come from Colleen Ballinger. That Colleen Ballinger was going to do this video. And I kind of said something different at the beginning, but then like I 
clarified myself at the end and I said, I thought she was gonna come out and she was gonna do a video. She might even mention some of the victims' names and she was gonna address what happened in the past year, but that indirectly what she would do is she was victimizing herself. She wouldn't come straight out and, and like say like, you guys like feel so sorry for me and like, you know, blah, 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 but she would indirectly victimize herself, right? And I said, if this video comes out, I go, watch, this video come out tomorrow and I will be the psychic of the world, okay? Well, Colleen Palliger, <laughs> I posted it on my Instagram. Y'all, if you knew the amount of DMs that I woke up to this morning, I mean, literally, probably, I no lie, like 100 DMs from people saying everything they had to say about Colleen. Okay, I don't know why she got no negative comments on her videos. Not one negative comment on her vlog, okay? We're just talking about the past year. Not one. Not one person even asking her anything like, hey, did you ever apologize to Adam? Or what do you think about? Not one, not one thing, okay? She even in the video says, um, ask me questions in the comment section below because I want to do a QA. and a Not one question about any crickets about what happened, right? Okay. So you're telling me I got 100 DMs off of an Instagram post that I reshared, okay? Of Spill Some Tea With Me that took a clip of her video. And I got 100 DMs since I posted that on there, probably more. And Colleen Ballinger doesn't have one comment. Not one comment on her video asking or saying anything about this. No, she's a scam. She's deleting comments because she don't want to deal with that, right? She want she doesn't want to bring any attention to it. She just wants to keep keep on moving, you know. Well, girl, <laughs> th this ain't the whiz, and you ain't on Easy Street, okay? I'm just telling you right now, which was one of my favorite movies of, of my childhood and is today still one of my favorite movies of life. I love that so much. When Lena Horne sings "Home" at the end of it, ah! <gasps> that so much. Who was the one that sang it on Broadway though? Oh my god. Uh, uh, who sang the original? Now I gotta look it up. It starts with an S. Why can't, Stephanie Mills. Was it Stephanie Mills that sang Home? I think it was Stephanie Mills. Oh my god, I love that so much. Y'all know the song Home. Ah! Ah! I love that song so much. But anyway, so they're always trying to ruin my vacations, okay? But I said in my video yesterday, I said if she comes out and does something like this, I'm truly starting a psychic channel in 2024. Well, I posted that video uh, two days ago, and yesterday she posted this video reflecting on 2023, okay, of which she dedicates part of it in talking about um, what a horrible year it was. It was her worst year of her entire life, you know, and um, all this kind of stuff, and she, and I'm not going to get into what she says. I think it's very serious, and I don't wish that on anybody. I take that very, very seriously. If you've heard my stories of my life on my vlog and other channels, you know that I have had many friends of mine that are no longer here because they passed that way and um and, and parents of friends of mine and um so i'm not going to comment on that part i i want to say that overall what i felt like in that whole segment where she's talking about 2023 and we know what she's talking about she's talking about the allegations she's talking about every news station in the world okay other than andrew quintana that defended her everybody talking about her and whatever um, we know that that's what she's talking about, right? And that that's what made the worst year ever of 2023 for her, okay? Um, but she has rocks. And she's a really good mother, too. But we're gonna get into that in just a second. I was like, when this video came out, I was like, well, she didn't apologize. I think, I, honest to God, my gut, like, I was, like, prepared to get this video and be like, yeah, I don't, I think after watching that video, she's not going to come out and apologize. No. I, I think something else is gonna happen, I have said this for a very, very long time, and I'm holding to this. I think there is somebody out there that has been greatly affected by Colleen Ballinger, and I mean kind of like on the level of Adam McIntyre, and they haven't come out and spoke yet because they still like have so much love for Colleen. I think Colleen knows who they are, and I think she's been working overtime behind the scenes. Um, and I think to some degree, this video might have been, I'm just speculating, but I think this video might have been speaking directly to that person. Like, please don't make my 2024, my 2023 was bad enough. I think there's maybe a couple people out there, but I think there's one directly that was in the group chats, no things about this kind of stuff, no things about Colleen. I think she's really worried about them coming out. If that person comes out and talks about Colleen... And basically says, I was holding out, you know, hope. I was hoping that Colleen would do the right thing. I've been a fan of hers for like 10 years. I was doing work for her behind the scenes. My story is very similar to Adam McIntyre's, whatever. That will literally be, the, it will be the, the end of the career of Colleen Ballinger. At that point is when I think that we might see the apology, okay? The, the sincere, insincere apology that I talked about in my video the other day. But this was not it, okay? Now, am I a psychic of the world for talking that Colleen Ballinger was going to do a video 
um, where she indirectly victimizes herself. I mean, <laughs> is that a stretch? No, it doesn't take any kind of psychic knowledge to figure that out. I joked about it. People took a step here. People are going to be like, oh my God, people really think she's a psychic. I've never said that. I thought, I, well, maybe I have once or twice. I don't know. But no, it wasn't psychic. It was just like, I think this is going to be the next thing she's going to do. She's going to have to. Colleen Ballinger is not going to come out and speak about this until her, her career is effed. I mean, it is over, right? She's still getting views. We will. The next thing I think, the big thing that we'll see next, is her downsizing. A lot of this simplify my life, and I'm playing with rocks, and it's just really important to me to be the best mom and all this kind of... It should be important to any mom. First of all, that... Okay, but... When you have hurt other people's children by your actions, to then get in a video and talk about how proud you are of the mother that you are, to me, um, that hits different, okay? Come out and address other people's children and come out and address those parents. We're going to talk about this in just a second. Before you want to get a video and pride yourself on what a great mother you are, okay? Um, that being said, I think she's going to really play into this simple life, rocks, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. And then they will downsize. I don't think she can afford her life anymore the way that she has it. Do I think that she has tons of money? Yes, but she's thinking about college educations for her kids. She has to think about it for careers over tomorrow. I mean, she's not the kind of career that she can jump on and maybe make a hundred grand a year and that can sustain her. I mean, if her career is over, it's over, okay? That means no books, no bookings, no tours, no videos, nothing that she will lose her career, right? And that's not sustainable. Nobody's going to be hiring her for movies. Her husband has been greatly, his career has been greatly affected by Colleen Ballinger in the industry. I've heard behind the scenes, it's not great for him, okay? That he was in the show recently. But that other than that, it's like not great for him. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just telling you what I heard behind the scenes. So, they're going to have to downsize. That's going to be the next thing. I, I think she will make, I think she is so bitter and resentful that she is so pissed at the people coming out and talking about her because I think, she, A, doesn't think she did anything wrong. I really don't. I think she thinks that she made some, like, mistakes and probably talked to the wrong people that were too young. That there are also other people that she talked to that were too young, but they haven't opened their mouths, so they're okay. But these people she should never have talked to, right? Like, I don't think she really... It's, it's, it's very similar to Shane Dawson, which I'm going to be doing that video of comparing Shane Dawson, James Charles, and Colleen Ballinger, because a couple people have reached out to me about that. But it's very similar to that. Like, I don't think she thinks she did anything wrong, right? So why take responsibility for something that you didn't think was wrong to begin with? I know, right? It's baffling. But so she will, they will downsize and get a smaller house. I think she probably, she'll say it's because of just a simple life and wanting to be a mom and not focus so much on YouTube and whatever, right? But I think that ultimately she will say something about like the money is just not as good anymore. And I have to, we're, we're very worried about money. And, and last year was tough because she cannot get out of the victim mode of this was done to me. Like, she cannot get out of that. It, it seethes in every video that she does, right? I mean, it's throughout every video that she says that. It's never about, I mean, I cannot even imagine, like, I remember being Colleen Ballinger's age because my mother had died and then I turned 36, right? And that was the year that I got together with my husband. We've been together 15 years and we've been married 12. Um, you know, I had lived a life at that point. I, and, and... To, to look where she, I don't know, I, I, it's just as baffling to me. And if this is all an act, like it, it either is all an act or she is literally so gone that she, she, this is the thing that's weird to me, right? Is that she has no ability to take accountability. Like these are the things that when people are like, no, she's gone, she has this, they label her that, all this kind of stuff, right? Well, okay. The problem with a lot of these labels that people want to put on her, which I'm not going to say in my video because I take those things very seriously, but a lot of these labels that people are putting on her are not, some of the traits are not consistent with her being able to turn on a dime and talk empathetically about her kids. Like, you, you would feel that way about all kids, not just, um, and I'm not talking about those words, I'm talking about more psychiatric terms. They're... To understand those terms, like, it's not that easy to switch it on and off and things like that. Sometimes it is, okay, in your interactions, but it's, to fake emotions and stuff like that, it's consistently in roller coaster as she does. No, if that's the case and she's been doing this for years and she really doesn't care about a whole lot in her life and whatever, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on up there in her head. It's honestly very, very scary. Um, I don't really, in retrospect, you know, know how she didn't think that this was going to end sooner for her. 
Which that tells me, I mean, she was literally in, in group chats up till, you know, last summer or last fall or something like that. Still in those group chats that she was being called out for. Still in them, right? So, it's baffling to me. It's like, we really didn't care anything about this at all. But you know what? I have all these notes. We need to get to these notes because this video is already 20 minutes long. Okay. Colleen breaks silence on last year. Well, Colleen, you just couldn't refuse the opportunity to try and ruin one of my vacations. <laughs> Good job. Oh, by the way, the thing that I wanted to say, what was I going to say? Trailer for Sailor Rent. Now, I can't remember damaging it, what I was going to say. I was comparing something. Somebody will remember in the, in the, in the comment section because I said it. That something about, oh, the meditation thing. When she talks about therapy, I think I have it in my notes. But the therapist wanting her to meditate, okay? Well, this is interesting. This is where I talked about the Easter egg thing, right? So, in recovery, in a 12-step program, we talk about prayer and meditation, okay? For my early years in recovery, I thought that that meant that I, I had to get very zen and sit on the floor. I didn't really understand the process of meditation, okay? I didn't get it. I got a bunch of books. I didn't read it. Then I had an old-timer, an old-timer is somebody that has many years of recovery, right? Come up to me, and I was like, I'm very confused about this meditation thing. I think I shared a meeting or something like that, and he came up to me afterwards, and he was like, at the time that they wrote the basic literature, meditation translated into deep thought, okay? So basically what they're saying to you is you need to have deep thought about these things. Think deeply about what's going on. I'm wondering if maybe that was what the therapists were pondering to Colleen Ballinger. Like, maybe you need to think deeply about these allegations, Colleen, okay? Not for her to meditate, okay, in a rock garden, but maybe that they were asking her to think deeply because that is literally the translation of meditate, okay? Is, I mean, if you look it up, it'll say, like, to think deeply, deep, deep thought. So I'm wondering if that's maybe what they were pondering to her. But yet again, here is a reference to therapists, okay? I don't know if she's seen a team of therapists. Um, I have a therapist. We had a therapist before, but he resigned because he got his dream job, okay? Of flipping houses. Um, so now we have a new therapist that we see as a couple and I see individually. I got in the video, I shared what my whole session was about. I don't care. I don't have a problem sharing what my sessions are about. I'm proud of being in therapy, okay? There's no shame or blame associated with being with ther in therapy. What I have an issue with is when you want to throw it out there as um, a an example of how you're doing so much work, but you never talk about the work you're doing. And for those people out there that said, well, Peter, you have no right to know what she's talking about in therapy. Um, I think we do, actually. I think we do have a right to um, understand the changes and the growth that she's gone through, okay? It's important to, to note that Colleen Ballinger acts as if this never happened, Okay. I mean, she, she talks in her video about she's never going to believe anything that the internet says again. Well, the internet is where the evidence exists, okay, that the victims came out with. The evidence that has her name on it. The evidence that she has never addressed. Why doesn't she just come out and address it? If there's no truth to it, just come out and address it. Your attorney addressed the green face versus black face. You had no problem addressing that with evidence. Just come out calling with factual evidence. She doesn't have to do that is what the fans will say. Well, why did she have to do it with the green face versus black face? Ponder me that question, okay? Why did y'all stand behind that and say that everybody was getting it wrong? So you were okay with that, but you're not okay with her coming out and addressing the lie. She doesn't have to do that. No, she can't do that because there's factual evidence, okay? So when she says, I'm not going to ever believe anything that the internet has to say, well, girl, then we, or is written on the internet, I guess we shouldn't believe anything that you have to say either, okay? Because people have been believing you for years and you've been a straight-up liar. Now we know that, okay? Among other things. That's the least of your problems, Colleen, is that you're a liar, all right? So so maybe you need to take that to your team of therapists and think deeply and meditate in a rock garden about that, okay? So anyway, but she goes in this whole thing and talks about therapists. I don't know anybody that's seen a team of therapists, okay? Unless they got, like, massive problems. And then at that point, if you're going through, I mean, if I were calling Ballinger, in all honesty, and I was making growth and change, and I mean, I shared in a video of mine not too long ago exactly everything that I talked about in my therapy session. Exactly from beginning to end. Because I said I was not afraid of that, I'm not ashamed of that, and whatever. Because somebody threw up in my face, they said that you just glide over what you talk about in your therapy sessions. Half of it's boring, if you want to know the truth. Okay. But here's the thing. On the deep issues, I have no problem talking about that. I've talked about OCD. I've talked about grieving. I've talked about me uh, processing the accident on there. I've talked about... Uh, pancreatitis. I've talked about me being in marriage counseling extensively on there. I've talked about recovery. I've talked about on and on and on having lost friends that have overdosed. I've talked about having social anxiety. I've talked about on my videos everything. Has she talked about even one of those things? 
Oh, she opened a Taylor Swift advent calendar. She ain't got no money, but she's opening the most expensive advent calendar of 2024. Okay, whatever. So here's the thing, right? If I was Colleen Ballinger, and I honest to God was going to a therapist, because I don't believe that she is, and I was going to a therapist and I was working on these issues, I would want to share with the internet what I was working on in even a vague kind of way to show that I was going through some change because that would garner people um, back that had left me to say, oh, she really is actually doing some work, okay? For her to get on video and say, these are the things that I'm working on. She wouldn't even have to get in deeply. She could say, I'm looking at the things that happened in 2023 and I'm looking at what my part in that was and I'm struggling with that because I still don't see things. Even Shane Dawson was able to say that, right? Okay, she wouldn't even have to say, oh, she can't say that because of legality. Nobody is suing Colleen Ballinger, so you can just stop with that excuse, okay? It's an ignorant excuse to say, well, she's got to worry about legal. You guys, it's been way too long, ain't nobody suing Colleen Ballinger, okay? Nobody's suing Colleen Ballinger. Trisha Paytas ain't suing Colleen Ballinger over those nudes. Adam McIntyre, the rest of the victims, ain't suing Colleen Ballinger, okay? I just talked to Adam McIntyre today. He said, I said, are you making this video about Colleen Ballinger? He goes, I don't know. I'm on this Gypsy Rose Blanchard train. I may be doing that video. Listen, okay? Listen, Linda. Somebody sent me this meme yesterday. It was so funny. And they said, did Linda ever listen? Whoever sent that to me on Instagram, I just want to tell you because I got 100 DMs that I had to go through about Salt Lake City and Colleen Ballinger and everything else. But anyway, whoever sent me that meme yesterday, I live. That made me so happy because I always say, listen, Linda. And somebody said, did Linda ever listen? I was like, oh my God. For those of you that don't know, it's a famous YouTube video. Go look up Liz and Linda. It's this kid talking to his mom, right? So nobody is suing Colleen Ballinger. There's actually no reason why she can't come out in a video. James Charles came out and made an apology to the victims, okay? Said I'm sorry to the, to the victims. And then took the video down, all right? Nobody ever sued James Charles. And people are like, Colleen Ballinger can't talk about it because she'll be illegally implicated. Nobody's suing Colleen Ballinger, Okay. Nobody's suing Colleen Ballinger. She wasn't on the Epstein list. I mean, as far as we know. But she wasn't. So, I mean... You guys, everybody's asked me to cover that. Did you see how many people are on that list and everything that's on there? I mean, it is... Oh, my God. We thought Heidi Fleiss was bad back in the day with her client list. I mean, that list. Anyway... But I have compared these situations to Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell, you know, in the last year. So it's just kind of interesting to me, this whole kind of like, she, okay, is 2024 the year of where, like, influencers talk to their audiences as if their audiences don't really know the truth, even though we all know the truth, and then we just kind of all nod, like, we, and like, all the fans that nod, like, they agree. Like, Jaclyn Hill closes her brand and says... Um, that she's still the CEO and she's closing her brand and it makes her sad and her audience is like, yeah, you are such a great CEO when she was never the CEO, but we just kind of like grin and act like it's okay. And then Colleen Ballinger says 2023 was the worst thing that ever happened. She's never going to uh, read anything that's online again. And everybody, all her fans were like, oh yeah, Colleen. And then Jojo Siwa was like, you go girl, because they can take a lie and run with it. Yeah. <laughs> Put a bow on it, Jojo. How about that? Okay. So, uh, you know, that whole camp over there. I thought it was interesting that Colleen Ballinger said in the video that she's so grateful for all the friends and family that have stuck by her. And if you watch the very end of the video, she throws up a Christmas picture of her and her family. I think it's her and her siblings. I thought that was very much a diss to the victims, okay? But let's talk about the biggest diss, diss to the... Not that. Let's talk about the biggest diss to the victims, okay? The biggest diss to the victims was the ukulele song that she included in this video. Did y'all catch that? So, in the video, she plays a lot of music, okay? I'm going to show you this in real time how this goes. So, when you pull up her video, hold on a second, it's on the commercial right now. Play soon, play soon, play soon. Okay, hold on a second. Why is, okay. So, when you look at her video, like this, okay? And you hit the more button, underneath the more, it will show you down here songs that she played in the video, Okay. And when you look underneath here, the songs are a Mozart song. Okay, that's for about two seconds of the video. Flutes, that's for about 10 seconds of the video. A song called 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky. I think I played that in orchestra when I was in high school. But the third song she plays is called Ukulele Beach. Okay? This is a song that she plays through the entirety of when she is talking about everything that happened to her in 2023. Okay? Now... For those of you out there that want to think that this is a reach, okay? Oh, she just likes ukuleles. 
The, wor the woman was ruined over a video where she chose to get in a video and sing her explanation with a ukulele, okay? She does a video reflecting on 2023, and during the part where she comes out and doesn't address anything, but plays victim, okay, about how it was the worst year, but thank God she's got some fucking rocks. Okay, and in that video, just during that part is when she chooses, because she chooses the songs that she uses, okay? She chooses to use a song called Ukulele Beach. I would have to think that if that were me during that part, this video is going to stop. Hold on a second. I tried to play it cool, but my, uh, <laughs> my tripod fell. Anyway, okay, during that part of the video, I would have to believe that if that were me, that I would choose a song that had nothing to do with um, the biggest part of my cancellation. Not just the allegations, obviously, right? But I would pick a song that, I mean, everybody, that made her the joke of 2023. I mean, the amount of memes and things that people put out about that, the amount of jokes. I mean, everybody, huge, huge YouTubers that didn't even have anything to do with Colin Ballinger were making fun of that ukulele. You know who wasn't? Joey Graceffa, her best friend. All her close friends around her, JoJo Siwa, because she, uh, she could take a lie and run with it. Right on to uh, uh, dancing, you know, and with her bows. All those people that supported uh, Colin Ballinger, they never made fun of that ukulele. But everybody else was making fun of that ukulele. So if that were me, okay, I would pick any song in the world, all right? I'd pick, I don't know, like flutes like she did, oboe, tambourine, drumsticks, spoons, I mean, you know, bathtub, whatever, whatever, you know, bongo drums. I would pick any song in the world, okay? But I can tell you, because you can go in here and pick these songs for free to play, okay? It's a whole creator program that they have that you can pick these songs to play. And there are like YouTube videos on there. If a song came up and I was Colleen Ballinger and it was called Ukulele Beach and I knew that people could see that right underneath my video, that'd be the last fucking song that I would ever pick for my video. If I took it seriously, what had happened to me. If I wanted to get in the video and say that 2023 was the hardest year and you are actually going to cry in the fucking video and want people to feel sorry for you and victimize yourself, but then you choose to use a song during that part that is called Ukulele Beach because you know that not a lot of people, okay, other than probably drama channels and people that are watching you very, very closely are going to catch that. Well, I caught it, girl, and I think you think the whole thing is a fucking joke, okay? I think you think the whole thing is a, is a joke. Well, girl, I hate to tell you, some of us out there are going to keep it alive. I don't know that 2024 is going to be that great of a year for you because I think other people are going to come out and talk about it. I think the story is going to get picked up back again, and I think that you putting this ukulele song in there was a very bad move, okay? That is such a diss at the victims of them coming out, you still have not even ever addressed them. And you are now making a joke of the video that you made, okay, that you have still left up for people to go back to, which this again is another move. So people go, oh, she's making fun of the ukulele video. Let's go back and watch the ukulele video so she can continue to make money off of all those videos. Yet you said in your video that you never made any money during that time. But girl, your channel's never been demonetized. It hasn't, period, right? and you were still selling merch, and your videos were still active. I looked at your social blade during that time. You were making good money, girl. People were watching your videos like crazy, okay? They were going back and they were checking for things. That was a lucrative time for Colleen Ballinger. Your videos were all monetized. How you could ever get in a video and say you didn't make any money during that time is absolutely bullshit, and it's, it's, it's a fantastical lie. Okay, I don't know. You must live up in Hogwarts with Jaclyn Hill and Jeffree Star and you all have magic wands, okay? But you need to get your, your wands checked by Hermione because, girl, they ain't working no more, okay? You done trying to mystify the whole world with your lies and your schemes is not working anymore, okay? And I hate to tell you this, Colleen Ballinger, but I got one last prediction for you, okay? You thought 2023 was bad. You should have come out and addressed things in 2023 and he ended it with a clean say, slate, okay? Ended it with a clean slate. To anybody out there that has to come out and address this stuff, like I talked about Robbie D. Christie, sooner rather than later, because it just clear you to go on with the future, you should have come out and addressed this, Colleen. You know ain't nobody suing you, okay? You know nobody's suing you. You know the victims aren't going to sue you. You know they don't have the money to do that. You know that they only have some of this and some of that. And most of the atoms in another country, it's very, very difficult. You know Trisha Paytas is not going to sue you. You know that, okay? There's no reason that you can't come out and talk about this other than your arrogance, your ego, and your pride, okay? That's the only reason. And that, that ultimately is what shows what a nasty person that you are, okay? You want to get in a video and talk about how much you care about kids, and you do this fundraiser. You even say in your video, okay, I'm so thankful for this fundraiser. 
cancer, of which you have been so highly criticized for in the past, and have never come out and addressed. I mean, this whole video was such a diss to everything that you've been called out on. It, it, what you should have called this video was, 2023, the year I was never willing to address shit that went down and I am not going to address shit going into 2024. Fuck you. That's what you should have called this video, okay? Let me get back to my notes. I'm getting so heated talking about this kind of stuff. Ridiculous. Then she goes in and talks about all the things she's grateful for. Rocks and rocks and rocks and more rocks and she's really grateful for rocks and she'll never believe anything that she reads on the internet again. Ugh. It's like, oh my god, are we going along with that again? Um... And this is where I was like watching the video. And I was like, girl, if it ain't true, prove it's not true. Prove it's not true, okay? If this were me and I was Colleen Ballinger, okay, with all that's out there about her, and it was not true, and you could come out and factually prove that it was not true, like your high priced attorneys that you no longer have, okay, came out and talked about the green face, green face versus black face. You had no problem proving that within 24 hours. If you have proof, okay, of these allegations, there is no bearing in fact, come out and prove us, girl. I'm waiting for it, okay? And do not say to me, those fans out there, she doesn't have to prove it to you. Well, I think she proves it to, owes it to the victims. I think she owes it to her audience that has questioned this. I think she owes it to you, actually, the biggest Colleen Ballinger fan out there that has stood by her all this time. Do you not care? If, if the person that you've supported all this time is a groomer or not, well, she, you're going to say, well, she's not. Well, if she's not, and she says she's not going to read anything on the internet because it's all lies, and she's got friends like JoJo Siwa saying you can take a lie and run with it, prove it's a lie, girl. Come out and prove it's a lie. Why would you not? Like, I've never understood that about these influencers. Why would you not prove that it's a lie? Okay, well... I mean, if it's on this kind of level, I'm not talking about, like, is your marriage in trouble or, you know, this or whatever. I'm talking about, like, on a career ruining level like this, why would you not come out and address it if you were Colleen Ballinger? I, I really don't understand it. If the story is full with holes and lies, why would you never come out and address it? It makes no sense to me whatsoever, okay? Then she goes on and talks about her kids and being a mother. And I'm like, do you care about other people's kids? You obviously don't, okay? I think one really good sign of a good mother is mothers that care about other mothers' children. Um, it's something that I witnessed while I was growing up, and I've said this in many, many videos. You can go back and fact check this. Um, I had two of my mother's closest friends, one of which is um, my mother's, they're both sorority sisters of my mother's, one of which I call my Aunt Susie, but she calls me Mother Susie, and she has been my mother's longest friend since college, whatever. She and another one of my mom's sorority sisters that were in my life for, till my mom passed away, um, well, one of them I didn't see for a long time, but then I saw when my mom passed away, but when I was growing up, those women and many other friends of my mother's were formative into changing me into being the person that I am today, introducing me to literature, you know, talking about really serious issues, talking to me about um, things of like how I spoke to people and that's not okay to speak to people that way and whatever, you know, and um, I, I got a comment from a couple people the other day when I, I, I did this whole vlog about this, right? People were like, I don't think it's okay for other people to, uh, to parent other people's kids. I'm not talking about parenting other people's kids. I'm talking about when you have a family friend that you consider like an aunt or like a, somebody part of your family, right? It's not about them parenting you. It's when they witness while your parent doesn't something and they step in or they give you the book to kill a mockingbird book or give you the book to kill a mockingbird and take you to the play for the first time ever which forever changes your look, outlook on people right or they play music for you or they share things about you with life okay or they help you walk through your mother the grief of your mother's death those are the things i'm talking about i'm not talking about parenting somebody's child okay and my mother was welcome to that. My father was welcome to that. I'm blessed that I had people in my life that were not in my family, but also my aunt and uncles that were willing to say, hey, Peter, like, maybe you shouldn't speak to your mother that way, you know, and things like that. There's a difference between that and parenting. I think we've kind of gotten away from that a little bit. But I take huge issue with the fact that she prides herself on being such a great mother, but she doesn't care about other people's uh, kids, right? Why should we care? And here's my thing. She was on and on about, she got all this footage of her kids and stuff. Girl, my battery died and I had to replace my battery and then my tripod fell again. What was I talking about? Colleen Ballinger and her, showing her kids. So yeah, she just got all this footage it, that she hasn't shown yet of her kids. That bore a snake. Do you, 
I mean, every video of hers now is, I mean, she's a family vlogging channel, okay? I mean, she's gonna get hard, hit hard in 2024 for being a family vlogging channel. That's all she is. She's been criticized that for a very long time. And let's just put, let's just pull it down to basics for a second, okay? If nothing that happened to Colleen Ballinger in 2023 happened, I mean, she's been criticized long before that for being a family vlogging channel and showing her kids, okay? So it's like, I mean, she's probably like, the life of Colleen Ballinger is really probably like this. Like, I mean, inappropriate conversations with minors or like, show my kids in videos. Like, YouTube's trying to fuck me. Like, no, Colleen, it's not personal, girl. It's you, okay? It's not personal. It's you. Like, you're, you're the one that has the issues. Do you get that? But anyway, like, my mind, as she's talking about her kids in this video, I'm, like, thinking to myself, girl, you don't get up a rat's ass about nobody else's kids. You've literally hurt people's kids, okay? Like, traumatize these kids. For the rest of their lives, they're gonna have to live with that. You've taken no accountability. You can't even say you're sorry in any kind of indirect way. You are a 36-year-old woman that is victimizing yourself, okay, against 20-year-olds acting like they're the ones that are doing the devil's work behind the scenes that you didn't single-handedly with you, your best friend, and your brother and the rest of your family traumatize all these people, okay, by keeping it silent behind the scenes. You've never come out and addressed that, but we should feel sorry for you and want to know what's going on with your kids. I don't give a shit about what's going on with your kids, okay? You don't care about nobody else's kids. Why should we care about yours, okay? There's no reason why we should care about Colleen Ballinger's kids. I don't. I don't. Okay? Because if she don't care about nobody else's kids, what that says to me is that if she don't care about nobody else's kids, why should we care about Colleen Ballinger's kids? Period. I don't, I don't get it. Okay? And while we're talking about that, you know, um, uh, while we're at it, you let your fans attack other people's mothers. I mean, you pride yourself on your kids and being such a great mother, but you let your fans attack other people's mothers. Okay? Adam McIntyre's mother has received horrendous shit, okay? Horrendous shit as a result of her son coming out and speaking and her being a mama bear defending her kid. Congratulations. I had a mama bear too, and I'm very grateful for that. She raised me into being the person that I am today, okay? And Colleen, since you can't even say Adam's name and you can't say Becky's name or Oliver's name in a video, you sure as shit can't say Sinead's name. So I'm going to say it for her, okay? Sinead is Adam's mother. And Sinead is a fantastic mother, okay? Because she will protect her kid at any expense. I'm not really sure that anybody else out there, I don't know, Colleen, is willing to do the same thing, okay? That takes a strong woman that is willing to to go and receive the ultimate bullshit that this woman has received in 2023. That all these people are like, oh, she's such a bad mother and she's such this and such that. I think she deserves praise. She has been there besides Adam's side, beside Adam's side the entire way, okay? That is who my mother would be. If my mother was here today, that is who she would be. That is who she was. And I am very proud with all the issues that my mom had in, my, in her life, okay? that she would suit up and show up and be the mother that I needed her to be, right? That's what a mother is. And not only that, but Sinead also cared about the other victims, all right? That's what a mother is, Colleen. I'm not sure you have the ability to do that, all right? I'm not sure that your own needs aren't, uh, that your own needs aren't selfish. So she goes in, 2023 was the hardest year with lots of dark, girl, the dark times, oh my God! <sighs> You guys, I'm so sorry that me and Gabriel and Nikita and Manny were sitting in a picture flipping everybody off and said, bitch is bitter without us. Oh my God, I've gone through some dark times. Cry me a fucking river, Laura Lee. Okay, put that gray hoodie back on and talk about James Charles, why don't you? You know what? I think she needs to, I hope she saved that gray hoodie or whatever she wore in that video, Laura Lee, okay? Colleen Ballinger getting a video talking about what dark time she went through. That's like the mantra of the YouTuber that won't apologize but wants to come out and victimize themselves for what they went through. Talking about dark times. Girl, you don't know dark times, okay? Your dark times, listen. Your dark times are self-created, Okay? I've created a lot of my dark times in my life, right? Okay? It's, it's taking a look at that, working through the pain, working through it, taking accountability, and owning it on the other side 
to allow yourself freedom, okay? That's what it's about. You aren't allowing yourself to do that. Don't be blaming this on nobody else but you, Colleen, okay? You are the one that ultimately is the one that can change all this. For the victims, for you, for your family, for your kids, for your husband, for everybody involved, even including your fans, okay? You are the one that are holding this to you are the one that is holding this together because you are unwilling to move forward and move through this pain and allow people to grow and change, including yourself. You are the one that is doing that. So I don't believe she's in any kind of therapy whatsoever, okay? Then she goes in here and says, send her questions for a QA, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here's some questions for a QA. Why have you never said Adam Becky's uh, Oliver's name in a video? If, if you have actual evidence, why don't you um, ever come out and... This damn tripod fell again. Anyway, I don't know why, if there's proof out there, you don't just come out and just address it. I, I really, I, I don't understand it, okay? You know, that you want to paint this picture of that all these people are coming for you and whatever and all this kind of stuff and that they're making your life hell based on lies. I would feel for you if that were the case, okay? If your life was being ruined over lies and stuff like that, like, I would feel bad for you. There's a reason why I never talked about the green face versus the black face, okay? Because you factually proved that there was no accuracy to that, okay? That's why I didn't come out and talk about it. If you want to come out and talk about and disprove all the allegations, and you want to go in bit by bit like Adam McIntyre did, and you want to show all the group chats, and you want to explain your participation in that, and at this point, this is what I meant when I was asking people about their, their you know, this and about that, and whatever, and you want to go in there and show those, you can go, actually what you could do is you could watch Adam McIntyre's video and do a full response to it explaining in context what you meant in those group chats. If you want to do that, Colleen, and you prove anything otherwise, hey, listen, I will own I will own it all day long, okay? But you haven't done that. But you did do that quickly with the, the show and the, the green face versus black face, which makes me think that you don't have the ability to do that, not because you don't want to, but because you don't have the proof or the evidence because you knew you did something wrong. Your silence is actually evidence itself. The fact that you won't come out and talk about it and, and prove otherwise, you keep on saying they're lies, that you won't believe in anything that's online, they're all just lies, but you don't prove them. The opportunities that you have had to prove that something was a lie, you have come out and proved it. The biggest thing, okay, that are, is hurting your career the most is the one thing. You've now come out in a ukulele video and you've said that, you know, the lies and the lies and people try to hurt you, but you never came out and proved it. You came out with your fall vlog and said yet again the same thing. Never came out and proved it, just talked about the lies, okay? And you came out in this video and talked about the lies, all right? What are the lies? Colleen, can you tell us what the lies are? Can you even get in a video as a grown ass woman and say, these are the lies? I've done that. Other people have done that. Can you do that? Can you even list for us what the lies are? Or are you too afraid to do that because then people will say, why well, a factual evidence? It's right here. Because if they were lies and you could disprove them, you would. So your silence on those issues, see, this is where you really fucked yourself, okay? Was when you had your attorney come out and dress the green face versus black face, okay? There was already enough evidence out there in videos that you had done, let alone live shows, okay, that were racially questionable, okay? So you didn't even need to come out and address that one because there were you already had a lot of videos that did not look in your favor, good in your favor, okay? But what you did in that video was you said that if I have evidence, I will come out and disprove these things. Now, that stands, okay, as a piece in time where Colleen Ballinger has come out and disproven something with evidence. So anything else that is alleged of Colleen Ballinger that she has never come out and addressed, we have to take, by Colleen's definition, that that is fact. So when Colleen Ballinger wants to come out and say the lies, I don't know what lies she's talking about, okay? Because the only thing that she's proven factually is about the live show and the green face, okay? Everything else, I guess we have to take as fact because she hasn't proven any of that by her own definition. By her own definition. That was the gift that Colleen Ballinger gave her victims in 2023, okay? Was that her coming out and, and validating that it actually did happen was her silence on not talking about it. And the fans that kept on saying she doesn't need to talk about it were actually the ones that were endorsing and supporting the fact that what she was really saying was, yes, this is all true because I'm not coming out and speaking about it, right? So she done screwed the pitch is what she did. And she knows that. 
And so eventually, she will come out and talk about this and address it in a video, and it will be indirectly victimizing herself, and it will be a very small kind of apology. I believe that that's going to happen, because she's going to just screw herself. She can't, I said, it, not even in my predictions video, but a video a while ago, I said, she's going to talk about this in 2024, because every time her views dip, she talks about it again. Because she knows that it's going to bring her views. She knows that. She knows that. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.